Tangier. I think it might have cost him the victory, or has it? It hasn't. Well done, Spencer. Where did he find that extra time? Unbelievable. Well, I think that graphic was a little off, actually. I'm seeing it as more like a level time. I thought it was unlikely to pull such big margins back. Get confirm confirmation on that one. Shapulin. Another of the big, big names really suffering on this stand, especially the stand shoot. This looks like Martin Foucault coming into his finish. Brilliant skiing from Martin Foucault. Look at this, just off the pace, tucking down low to try and pull back some extra seconds. 4.9 behind. Well, this is uh, a race of all change. It looks to me like uh, Berf is uh, managing to find something special out there on the track. Labe Lund has uh, gone through. In fact, let's pick up on Labe Lund. Uh, this is going to be, surely it's going to be a new lead time, not by much. Such fine margins. Now Labe Lund, his first chance ever to take a victory in the World Cup. He was part of the relay team, the mixed relay team. As Legelic, ah, uh, oh, brilliant for Legelic for the Canadian team. 20 seconds is a huge margin at this stage. Labe Lunde may take this one, but it'll only be short lived. And it's about the shooting today. Some of the big names struggled and suffered. Svensson missing three. Martin Foucault missing three, but only separated by a couple of seconds. La Lund coming in to take the new lead time. Surely it will be. It is three seconds ahead of Simon Eder and Svensson sharing the same time as a tie for second place. <laughs> Anderson can't believe it. What a performance from the young Norwegian. But remember, out on the track, there's Alex, Alexis Berf. He's definitely going to take the new time by a margin, a huge margin. And Jean-Philippe Legolec is uh, out there to close and to change this once again. So, new names. Labe Lund, Alexis Berf for victories or should I say to take the new lead times? I think it's going to change. Just looking further back uh, after the second shoot, is there anyone else to turn things around? Florian Graf is out there. He's uh, only missed one target as well. He's uh, only eight seconds behind Legelic's time. But for now, it's all about France. Alexis Berf. Missing one shot, taking 14.2 seconds off. La Lund, Eder down now, and Svensson into third place. So remember, Graf, after the second shoot, was ahead by 10 seconds ahead of Berf. What a day for Canada. Legelic coming in for the finish. Uh, he's put it together so, so well in the range. He's fatiguing into the last, into the home straight, but realizing that this could potentially be the victory that will last the course of this race. 18 seconds ahead of Berth into the finish. Wonderful performance from the Canadian. Welcome back and a chance to see the, the results so far at the finish. Well done to Jean-Philippe Le Gaelic. The Canadian uh, with a perfect shooting score is at the top of the world at the moment and may hold on to it.
For the down, Eric Lesser took the bronze medal in the 20 kilometer, down in 11th position. And uh, well, Svensson and uh, Bernbach are at the moment in fifth and seventh position. Martin Foucard in ninth position. Still plenty big names out uh, on the track though. So it could all change. Look at the, we saw a chance there of uh, a view of the wind flags. They really are blowing quite strong from the left, which has caused many of the big names a lot of problems. Christoph Suman, uh, well, he was some way off the lead times, the ski times in the 20 kilometer. But it's a very good start. The shooting, as expected, perfect. Five out of five in the prom position. In small picture, as Suman comes out, we'll just get a chance to see his performance there. Well, 11 seconds. Suman, competitive, absolutely. Christoph Eriksson, you can just see his foresight there at the end of the barrel, the rifle. It's in perspex, so there's no little metal bar supporting it. Just sighting from his one millimeter rear sight through this foresight, then onto the target, match them up. Good flowing shooting performance there from Ericsson. The big names didn't quite manage on the range to hold it together. Is Ericsson the big hope for Sweden? 24 seconds off, uh, he's not really going to remain that competitive as Garanachev comes in. 57 seconds off the pace, he started well to the prone shoot and then again in the stand shoot he was still alive and kicking in terms of his pace but those three shots missed, completely broke his spirit out there. And uh, well let's not forget today's performance, where you stack up today is where you start tomorrow's pursuit competition. And those of you familiar with the biathlon, it's one of the most exciting of our races. So much can happen. And uh, to be honest, the way we've seen the big names on the shooting range today, Garanashev, Pfeiffer missing two, Bornbacher missing two, Svensson missing three. Then anything can happen tomorrow as Toivonen, the Finn, is flowing through his targets. Well, one missed, it's not bad today. Lander Tinger missed three today. Lars Berger missed three. Lindstrom, three. Oleana Bjorn Dahlen, four. Perfect on the prone position for Bjorn Dahlen. And then just didn't hold it together in the stand shoot. Now, Bjorn Tegard. Clear in the prone position. Can he do the same in the stand? Taking his time, he knows how important this is to get them, as Legelic did, but he's missed the fourth shot. Well, Legelic still holding the lead time. And we still have some big names for the back. Shemp, with only one penalty, 35.9 off the pace here. Just 1.5 kilometer, and it's an easy part of the track from from the high point uh, which Shemp has just gone through. Shipulin, another one of the big names suffering in the in the stand shoot today. Well, he's going to be over one minute off the pace of Legelic. And Ustigov uh, really showed us some good skiing form. The fourth fastest on his skis, over 20 kilometers. But uh, a drop in his uh, ski form a little today. But remember, he has been around the penalty loop three times. So, Legelic, the Canadian, leading the rest of the world at the finish. Italy, a couple of penalties there for Tutto. And I can tell you, Legelic uh, leading from, uh, well, we've got 45 athletes finished at the moment. So, Tutto making his way out. Uh, just have a look after the prone shoot. Is there anybody out there to, who can affect the outcome at the end of this race so far. There's the penalty loop, quite tight. Corners in, or up, up each end of this penalty loop. I can tell you Lee Jackson, uh, 52nd position at the moment, he's only missed one in the prone. Confirmation, and what a great feeling that must be for Jean-Philippe Legelic, 
and for Canadian biathlon. Well, coming up to 9.5 kilometers, Simon Schemp, 40 seconds. And the snow isn't, uh, and these temperatures allowing much uh, freedom underneath the skis, a lot of friction when the snow is this cold. Although I don't think the conditions will be changing much as the race goes on. So Svensson still holding best time after the prone shoot. But uh, we know he missed uh, three in the standing. Simon Schemp just uh, dancing his way around uh, the corner where his teammate Eric Lesser fell. Lesser down in, uh, down in 11th position, another good performance. Lesser 48 seconds behind Schemp, 42, so just slotting in ahead of his teammate Eric Lesser. The Germans are looking good, very good. Florian Graf in third position, we've got Andreas Bernbacher in seventh, we've got Arndt Pfeiffer in eighth now, Schemp we've just seen going to tenth, and Eric Lesser in eleventh position. But today, it's all about the Canadian. Jean-Philippe Le Gellic, having his perfect day and uh, holding himself at the top of the world at the moment. And uh, it's looking pretty good that it may well stay that way. We do still have Mickey Grice as the last starter today, the triple Olympic champion from Torino. Alexis Boeuf with only one penalty, holding second place. Booth just tucking low, coming into the stadium, lowering his wind drag factor, trying to pull back every fraction of a second. So, bit number 90, the later starters, and there are still more to come in. 104 starters today, so... Mesotic. Always reliable on the range is uh, Daniel Mesotic. You can just see the trigger when he recocks the weapon. He's got a little extension. Just to make sure the pressure goes evenly through the trigger. Five out of five. Time's a little off the pace. That's going to be what? Some 10 seconds off the pace. As Alexei Volkov comes in. Another of our, the last of the Russians to start today. Mesotic. Can he turn this one around?